And I think that we both know the way that the story ends Then only for a minute I want to change my mind Cause this just don't feel right to me I want to raise your spirits I want to see you smile Good morning and welcome to the Amherst train show. This is one of the largest, biggest train shows in the country. All different scales, G, H, O, O, N scale, all different exhibits. I believe there's five different huge buildings filled with trains, different exhibits. Um, so a lot of great product. Um, so Train World TV is gonna be taking you behind the scenes today and we're gonna go see any product announcements, new products, what they're displaying, kind of like a behind the scenes for the Amherst train show. So stay tuned. All right, Bill Schneider from Rapido Trains, and uh, we're here at the Springfield Show, the Big E, and uh, lots and lots of new product. We have, probably have more new product right now uh, than pretty much anybody else, and a lot more in the pipeline. The RDCs, these are shipped from our factory and from our warehouse now. These will be hitting dealers within the next week or two. The Via F40 wraps, these are shipping actually this week. They're unpacking them now uh, in the warehouse. Behind these are the RS18 and the Tempo. This is a new series of models coming out. Uh, these are first samples. Um, and then behind it, just a mix of the RDCs. Over here, we've got, again, more new products. The first samples of our SW1200. This is a new switcher that we're coming out with. Road-specific details. We have a whole range of schemes coming out uh, covering the entire country. A uh, couple different fuel tanks, several different uh, cab configurations. Every road has got the correct details like we do it. Uh, the Alco FAs, the FA2s, we've got the second run of these coming out. Um, also the FB2s, which uh, will both match with the run that we're doing now, and also we have matching ones for the first run of FA2s, which is, is sold out in uh, Pensy over here. Um, and then the first sample of the Royal Hudson is on the far side over here. I don't know if you can see that over here, but that's uh, in production now and, and hopefully we'll be shipping from the factory sometime in late spring. Over here we've got samples of our new RS11 model coming. Uh, typical of Rapido, we can't do anything simple. We decided to do an RS11 and we ended up with three different fuel tanks, four different hoods, uh, two different end pilots, and three Three different cabs, I think. It's hard to keep track of. Uh, Every one, again, road specific. Um, you can see a lot of photo etched parts on this, wire handrails, really top notch sound system from ESU. They sound great. Um, also, the RS18, uh, which is the Canadian version of that. Over here, we've got Gareth's baby. These are the B36 7s. Uh, these are hand painted uh, samples. These are very nearly ready for production. This is an all new. Uh, model for us again road specific details different cab configurations different hood configurations different uh, uh, vent screens and so forth for the back just really top top notch model we're really excited this show to have the very first samples of the EP5 electric uh, these are tooled parts but they are hand painted samples so don't pick on the paint jobs too much uh, these are just about ready to go into production and the response has just been tremendous on these these have been really great uh, I'll have some new samples coming in uh, in a few weeks and hopefully I can get down and talk to you guys down at the store about it, that'd be great. I'm here with Kenny from, from Train World, and I want to show you what we have new. We have some cool new product. We have uh, not a new product, but it's still a wonderful product. Uh, is the the Pacifics in steam? This has been the hit of the show. This is the Pennsylvania P5A box cab electric. Behind it, we have the GNS2. We have new six thousand gallon tank cars. This is my favorite one. I think it's a very, very cool paint scheme. 
We have our award from James for the best steam. We're very proud of. This is a, a, a new, an AC6000 that um, is a fantasy paint scheme and it's our best seller. Go figure. Here we have some Mikados. All right, now we have some end scale to show you. We have SD40-2s, a lot of road names. The AC6000, also a lot of road names. The Pennsylvania T1, a new model, very, very well received. Behind it, we have some F units. Whistle, and, I mean, the horn in those is fantastic. We have more. E units, E6, 7s, and 8s, and end scale. And in the end, we have E6, 7s, and 8s in HO. So that's all that's new from the new from the uh, Amherst train show. If you, you know, give Kenny a call and he'll help you out. Hey, good morning. My name is Curtis Jung. I'm uh, a digital consultant with LGB Marklin and Tricks. We're at the uh, railroad uh, hobby show in Amherst. Um, today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, uh, what we've got available with LGP. The 2019 New Adams catalogs have been released. Well, they haven't been uh, sent out yet, but they were available online from your dealer. Um, part of what we have to show is we've got, uh, here at the show, we've got our 50 year anniversary locomotive GE442, I believe is what it is. And, um, Obviously, you can see we have our Markman displays, tricks, uh, Rick Sinclair, my counterpart over here, another digital consultant. Um, just having a good time. We got all these other catalogs from uh, last year, so trying to pick those up. Got an automated setup running our, our Central Station 3, as well as the HO setup on this site. Um, anyways, uh, you should check uh, the new items uh, that are going to be available. They got some really exciting stuff. Hey everybody, this is Steven and Dan from Train Control Systems. At the Amherst Show this year, we're talking about three big things. The first of which is Keep Alive. We got new ones. The second of which is our new prime movers. And the third is our new command system that's coming out. So the first thing is new keep alives, and I have some here to show you. These are created, we have a keep alive one and keep alive two, and they are both a smaller footprint but have a high capacity, it's just like our three and fours. They're miniaturized so they're gonna fit into tighter spaces, but they're gonna deliver a very hardy and robust thing to make sure that your trains keep going over uneven and troublesome track. So, you don't have to worry as much anymore in your smaller engines like your switchers or even in smaller scales like that, where traditionally there hasn't really been a solution and now there is. The second thing we wanted to talk about was the new prime movers that we're going to be releasing. Uh, on our next version of our decoders, we're going to be including six new prime movers. First of which is the Alco 539T. We also have the Baldwin 8VO, the Baldwin 606A, the Baldwin 606NA, and the Baldwin 608A. In addition to that, we're also going to have the Jeevo Prime Mover from the ES44AC. So, we're really excited about that. And then the last thing we're talking through at the show, we're making a whole bunch of progress on our Wi-Fi command system and throttles. I have an example of our large throttle here, and Dan has a smaller mini throttle around his neck. Um, so pretty much whatever we're talking about. Yeah. Uh, we did bring these in last year to Amherst uh, and kind of unveiled them in their new sleek form factor. Uh, we have taken a lot of time to consider the ergonomics of the design of the throttles, both the large and the small, and we're not willing to compromise on the features for the UI. So we're hoping to make DCC easy, unlike how it has been in the past. So for newcomers and old users alike, it's going to be a much more pleasant user experience. You don't have to worry about wires, uh, and the intercompatibility of our throttle is its biggest point. You can use this throttle with any system which supports either uh, LCC, Y throttle, or LNWI from Digitrax. So, if you have it, we can control it.
Exactly. You can take this from your NCE system at home to your Digitrack system at the club and run all your trains on just this. The command station is due to be released at the end of 2019 and the throttles will be coming available sooner. Alright, so we got some new stuff and the biggest announcement of the show throughout anybody here is the Loke Sound 5. So we have uh, two new versions, the Loke Sound 5 which is multi-protocol, meaning that it's going to speak many digital languages. DCC, Motorola, Selectrix, Marklin. Probably not going to be as needed as much in North America because we really only use DCC. So because of that, we've developed a Loke Sound 5 DCC, which only speaks to DCC language. Now the great thing about that is it's very much like the version 4, that is our previous version, but it's priced at the prices of the, the Loke Sound Selects. So it saves you about $20 a decoder, but it gives you much, much more ability to get in and change things and add things to the decoder and all of that. So there's better motor control, believe it or not. I mean, it's already the best on the market with the V4 and the Select, and now we're making it even better by making it the V5. Um, totally compatible with the V4s and the Select. So if you've just recently you know, converted your entire layout to Select, which I hear all the time, thank you very much. <laughs> um, you don't have to worry if you want to go to a V5 now, things are still going to work the way that they always did. We've got full throttle, you know, we made sure that things are going to work the way that they used to work. And, and then we added a whole bunch of new features. So there's some load controls in there. There's some new braking if you want to use it. Um, of course, the upgradability. It's a brand new decoder. The Loke Sound 4 and the Select were 10 years old already. So by having the, the V5, you figure we get another 10 years of upgradability. New sound files, better motor control, better sounds. We can have better quality sounds. Many, many, many more outputs. I think we're up to 14 outputs in the 21 pin version. Uh, 10 powered outputs on the 8 pin version. Um, and that's just in the A show. We get into the, uh, the, the micro has nine outputs. The XL and the L decoders were at uh, 17 and 19 outputs. So lots and lots of lights, servo controllers. Of course, we have a new smoke unit that's going to be available. That's going to be a dual chambered smoke unit for a large scale. So that has stack smoke and cylinder smoke at what of one unit. So that's kind of a cool thing for the large scale guys. We've got new speakers. So we have 50, 50340 and 50341. Uh, one of them is a dual sugar crew speaker with an enclosure kit that you can build any way you want. The other is a single one. Same speaker, or it's just one of them or two of them. So the dual speaker sells for about $20. The single speaker sells for about $15. So good value for what you're getting. Of course, we have the cab controls. Everybody wants to know about the cab controls and when they're coming and when they're going to be available again. We've got a huge batch of them coming in at the end of February. That should cover all of our back orders and then give us lots of stock. So we shouldn't have to worry about when are these things coming out. Our demand has been phenomenal on them and thank you guys for being interested in them. We're working as hard as we can to get them to you and we're going to keep doing that. We'll get them out as, quack, as quickly as we can. Um, if you've gotten any of the new Scale Trains Dash 9s, the good news is, is that they come already with the V5 in it. So in order to be able to do some programming on that, as of today, uh, they have put out a new version of the Load Programmer on the ESU website. So you want to go and you want to download the version 5.0 point whatever it is today. Uh, we had a couple beta versions so I can't remember where we're at. but. Uh, the newest version of the software is on the website. You'll need to download that so you can talk to the V5 inside the, the new scale trains engines. Walters has some coming with V5s. Rapido has stuff coming with V5s. Bowser, Atlas. So guys, thank you. I, we have a lot of new exciting stuff coming and you guys have made us what we are today and we really appreciate it. So happy model rarity. Hey everybody, uh, Chris Palmer is here with uh, Train World, Trainland. A lot of stuff's happened since you last saw me over the past year. Really excited to get honoring your veterans. And uh, we're, we're going to do a second announcement on 911 here in the next month or two. And uh, 1943 just arrived in stock, so get them while you can. These things are hot. One of the things that uh, we just announced recently was uh, UP 4141 honoring George Bush. We're also doing the yellow locomotives, the 9069 and 9096, to do the proper funeral train. But the model's not here at the show. We're going to do it in the 2018 configuration that has the black fans, a different inverter cabinet. That'll be the first time with a commemorative box. Two other RTR models that we're getting in pretty soon in the next uh, few months into the summer. 
In the summer, we're going to take delivery of uh, uh, UP Desert Victory. That's an SD-40-2 painted up in camouflage to commemorate uh, Operation Desert Storm that happened in the 90s. Also, the CNO, uh, what they call the, the CSX Heritage locomotive. It was an SD-40 that was originally painted in CNO. It lasted that way all the way up until the late two, or early 2000s. And then they actually repainted it in full CNO and uh, donated it to a local museum. Okay, we're going to go from right to left. One of the production samples of the ACF 4600s are coming into stock. These are production samples. This is with the revised tooling. It's taken us a little while to actually execute a, a lot of the comments that we, we receive from our customers on it. We're excited to actually deliver that. Um, we also have uh, the extra 3639 North project supporting the, the actual Erie Lackawanna SDP 45, 3639, the restoration on that. We all just announced another round of SD 45-2s, including Clinchfield. What's really interesting is we're getting into the SD70 ACE that were former CSX. Someone decided to, to kind of do a clandestine uh, uh, heritage unit for the C&O. So what they did is they revised the PRLX, one of the progress rail leasing ones, and kind of put on some of the C&O medallions to kind of turn it into a clandestine uh, C&O locomotive. It lasted a week of that way in uh, 2018. We're also getting in some Norfolk Southern Reading and what we're also showing here is the Ontario Northland SD75i with some nose stripes. Uh, that was, we're doing that scheme for the first time and then also the, the B&M and McGinnis. Hey everybody out there in Train World TV, Brian Kunkel from Lionel here at the Big E the uh, Springfield Train Show. We've got uh, some great new samples of things on hand here. Also have copies of the brand new 2019 Big Book. 250 pages of uh, great new product that you'll be able to start pre-ordering now through our new number one best-selling uh, dealer, Train World and Train Land. Ken, Ken's gonna come in. But that would be Train World and Train Land. Ken. Congratulations to you guys on a great year. Looking forward to uh, another great year to come. We hope that uh, this big book gets everybody uh, excited. There's a lot of great things in here. Everything from new legacy steam locomotives and diesels to our new Lion Chief Plus 2.0, which combines the best of Lion Chief Bluetooth technology and TMCC to give you some great new control options that meet everyone's needs. Uh, some wonderful new train sets, Christmas items, new American Flyer, our HO sets and track from uh, top to bottom, great catalog full of something for everybody. Uh, here at the show we do have some samples of some things that you'll be seeing uh, delivered to you in the uh, next couple of months over the springtime. Pre-production samples of the Legacy A6 uh, Atlantics. We have an engineering sample here of the RS11. Uh, we're going to take it over to the module next to us today and run it around. We've got a program with some of the great Halloween sounds from the Halloween version uh, to give people a sense of what that's going to sound like. We've got our theater cabooses. You'll be seeing those uh, very soon as well. They're, they're complete and uh, getting shipped over here before Chinese New Year. So uh, a lot of great things on their way. Again, the big book is up. You've got a couple uh, weeks yet to get online and uh, look through that and call your, your dealers and place your orders. You won't want to miss out on this train as it's coming through. So thanks for stopping in and seeing us. Hope if you're in the area, come see us at the show or keep up with us on Train World TV. that we have here at the Amherst Railway Society show. Uh, one of the first products I'd like to talk about is our N-Scale SD60E. Uh, it comes in uh, really colorful paint schemes honoring veterans, the first responders paint scheme, and Go Rail, along with Norfolk Southern. 
Uh, these models will be available in the third quarter of 2019. Next model I'd like to talk about is the N scale Alp 45 along with our modern commuter trains. These are all N scale models, they all come with sound. Uh, these models will be available the uh, first quarter of uh, 2019. And uh, lastly, in N scale, we have a uh, brand new tooling acquisition from Walther's, a uh, number of N scale models um, that we recently acquired. Uh, Russell Snowplow, Diffco Dump Car, uh, along with a covered hopper, and um, that's pretty much it for our N scale offerings. So we have a couple new announcements. There's soft announcements for the uh, for the show this weekend. The um, new HO Multimax uh, is going to be a model that's coming soon. We're going to announce it probably in the next few months. Uh, it's a model that's more modern. I believe 2012 was the uh, was the uh, uh, the start of, of the production of these by the Greenbrier Company. Uh, it's going to be an exciting new product, and uh, we're looking forward to introducing that to the market, along with the HO 5250 covered hopper. Uh, this is also brand new tooling. A lot of excitement at the show about it, and uh, looking forward to bringing it to the market. Hey, I'm Rich Foster with MTH Electric Trains and we're here at the Big E Train Show for 2019. We're having a great time. I'm visiting with Train World. I'm showing off some of our new 2019 items that are coming. As you guys know, there's going to be the Golden Spike Ceremony coming out in Utah. So we've offered the, the two engines that met at the Golden Spike Ceremony, the Jupiter and the Union Pacific 440. They're in our brand new 20 19 volume 1 catalog so if you want to celebrate the golden spike you can pick up these two great engines and there's passenger cars to match as well as you guys know that the 4014 is supposed to be rolling out at that ceremony as well this is our rail king imperial big boy it'll be out soon as well so that's also going to be part of the golden spike ceremony and because we're up here in uh, in uh, Massachusetts, we got a lot of New York customers. We brought a lot of our uh, local road names of uh, Long Island. For example, this great Imperial 060 Switcher in, uh, in Long Island. You can get them right now at Train World. They're in stock, um, as well as a Long Island um, uh, Pacific and uh, old time Long Island 440 up there. They're all available at trainworld.com right now. Hey, Rich Foster again. We're back at the Big E train show. I'm showing off some of our new HO items that we have for sale. As you guys know, we brought out some great R17 subways with sound a couple of years ago. Well, now we have R21s and R22s in a variety of different deco schemes. As you can see, um, you can pick any of these up at Trainwell yeah. right now. There's, no uh, there's a variety of paint yeah. schemes, including a maintenance away version, which is sold as a two-car set. And these things are available right now at Train World. They have great sounds. You can buy them as expresses or uh, locals. So you can activate the prototypical station stops all along the subway route that you're used to commuting on. And uh, also in a couple of uh, six to eight weeks, we should have the ES44 uh, hybrid that's coming out. This engine we've del uh, built a few years before. It was extremely popular, sold out in a hurry. It's got the charging lights along the running boards, which change prototypically to either run an inside toward the fuel tank or out toward the pilot. You can order these right now at trainworld.com. Hey guys, it's George from Soundtracks here. And today at the Amherst Show, we've got a lot of cool things to talk about with the Tsunami 2. We've got a lot of cool features that we've got built into these decoders. Uh, more and more people have been seeing our YouTube videos that we've been posting every week online on our YouTube channel and seeing the features and all the different things that you can do with your Tsunami 2 to help make it a more realistic and more fun experience for you. For example, I brought this model here with me that's here on the table. And one of the things I did, this is a factory installed Athern Genesis Jivo that had headlight and backup light and ditch lights already as LEDs. But what I've done is I've added 13 additional small LEDs to do things like the number boards, the uh, 
truck lights, the step lights and the courtesy lights on the walkway, all the way around the locomotive, all the way up to and including the red emergency light inside the cab that you can actually trigger by pressing the emergency stop. Now what's really cool about the Tsunami 2 is all of these lights are using the same outputs, but I can use a CV to adjust the brilliance so that your step lights down below are not as bright as your headlight. Everything is adjusted accordingly so that that way you get a more realistic experience. Now with our Tsunami 2, over the summer we announced a steam upgrade version uh, called Steam 2 where we've added 28 new whistles. We've also added a second EMD collection of prime movers on our EMD Dash 2. Now don't get too fixated on the name Dash 2, it's just a play on words. This is a collection of EMD prime movers that's kind of a part two or think of it as a second version uh, because the memory chip on the decoder is, is fairly large but because uh, prime movers take up a lot of time, we offered a second version now. So on that list you have new, uh, ver new EMD prime movers such as a 12 cylinder 567. You also have that 20 cylinder 645 turbo that's great for the 45 series. And there's a mix of other ones on there as well to help you get more specific sounds for your different models as you're running down the track. Now all of these decoders are available through Train World TV, trainworld.com, and you can shop online. And if you have any questions for either support or you just want to learn how to do things like this, give us a call at soundtracks.com or email us and let us know. We'll be happy to help answer any of those questions for you. After all, we are here to help you enjoy your hobby, and we are built in the United States, so all of our decoders are manufactured in Durango, Colorado. So if you're ever down in the area, come by and visit us. Hi, uh, I'm Larry Harrington from Bachman Trains. Welcome to the Amherst Modeler Society's annual train show in Springfield, Massachusetts. Here today with Ken Bianco Jr. from Train World, showing some of our new products in our line that we just came out with or will be out with shortly. ACS 64 is an awesome product. We got wow sound in them um, from TCS, a brand new venture with us. It's got awesome lighting controls, eight lighting controls with keep alive technology and authentic electric sounds. Um, every review you've seen in the magazines tells you how well performing the locomotive is. Second shelf down here is our Streamline K4 Spectrum. Pennsylvania locomotive. It comes in four road names, road, road numbers, excuse me. It also has wow sounds as well. Um, shipping now are our 280 consolidations and I believe five road names. We have some new cleaning cars a little bit. Um, we have uh, Woodside Reefers in May Blossom and Agar Packing. Also, we also have done the cleaning cars in our 40-foot box car um, with the, the Missouri Pacific Eagle and uh, Timken roller bearings. Next shelf down, we introduced these at NMRA. They are scale test cars. They come in five varieties, four painted varieties, and one undecorated with customizable parts that you can make to your favorite railroad. A couple new single dome tank cars. We have the J.M. Huber, um, the British American Oil Company, and the American Maze products. The single tone form. Below here we have, uh, we did the end of train device in our 450 foot box car last year. We're also adding it to our Canadian cylindrical grain hoppers. So we have four or five varieties there. Uh, new paint scheme and cylindrical hoppers are the North American uh, logo on the Canadian National. And we have Canadian Pacific plug door boxcar with the, the tree logo. And Western Pacific with the feather logo. And a couple new of our excursion cars painted like amusement park um, rides. So you can use them for your amusement parks on your layout. A new set we had from 2018 introduction with Strike Force. They're shipping now. Comes with the locomotive and camo paint colors with camo decorated uh, freight cars as well. Comes with track and oval of transformer ready to run. Um, to, to, uh, also for 2019, brand new, is our transcontinental Golden Spike anniversary set. It comes with two DCC sound locomotives, two um, passenger cars, and an easy command unit. Also includes 
nickel silver track with a switch for a siding so you can put one of the locomotives on the siding. Below that is our new Ringling Brothers set. The greatest show on earth, special. It's the red uh, passenger unit. We did some single sail blue units before in passenger cars. This will give you the opportunity to add on to that set. One thing our customer has been asking for, when I get a train set, what do I do from that point on? So we've come up with a couple of um, add-on accessory packages that include a turnout and some extra track and a building and an extra freight car so they can add a siding to their layout and give it a little more play value. We have two versions of that. One is the water fill set with the, with the water tower and the other one is a um, freight train transfer set. That comes with a, a, a freight station and a box car. So it's an easy way to add on to your existing train set. This introduction sets one thing I've been asking for is this new, uh, passenger car, the uh, Gordon's uh, coaches. We have the coach and the brake coach. It's been out of the line for a few years, but all the Thomas fans have been screaming for them. So we're excited to bring them back again and bring new packaging for Thomas and friends. We have both the coach and the brake coach. Um, for our large scale Thomas fans, we have three tank cars, a chocolate syrup water and, and a tan tank car. Last year's NMRA introductions are in stock now. We have the SD9 and the Dash 8s, both with sound. Um, Economy from Soundtracks, a higher end sound that we put in, in the end scale before. Um, two 80s on the shelf above that also have Economy sound. And we're starting to have our production samples here of our light mounting with Economy sound. To go along with their 440s, we have some old time freight cars, flat cars, and water cars. People have asked us to bring those back, so we brought those back as well. ON30. Well, we've upgraded the, the couplers on some previous versions, so you, it's an upgrade from previous models. For ON30, the 060 will be shipping in approximately 30 days to our customers, so see those soon. That comes with DCC sound ready. Um, the speaker is installed, it's a decoder installed, but you can buy a sound module if you wish to upgrade the, the model to full sound. We also have four undecorated with data only refrigerator cars and large scale fans up top will have some uh, new models for our speeder, a new Christmas um, egg liner and a bumblebee egg liner with the bumblebee graphics on the roof. So, and with the new uh, regulations we had to comply to, we have had our accessory port as a separate um, DC, DC power supply. So you can use this to power your switches and your accessories on your layout. It comes with two power taps and you can easily um, hook up to six items up to a total of one amp draw for your accessories on your layout. You can put three, our, our, our standard um, spade connectors we can fit three in each uh, side so you can do a total of six and that's what covers what's new for Bachman at the show here thanks for stopping by and remember to visit www.trainworld.com for your Bachman needs okay thanks for uh, visiting us here at Walters a couple of announcements we have our mainline international wide vision cabooses with the extended wide vision uh, this is our first chance to take a look at them uh, we have the Conrail and a Santa Fe and a Chessie. And we will also offer a detail kit with these to uh, put the grab irons on. But these have been a very popular item here at the show. And that's coming out in our mainline series. Also, our mainline F units have been very popular. We have here the Via and a Wabash set. And those are also have been out. Another run is coming. Probably one of the biggest announcements we've had is our 4141 SD70 Ace in our mainline series, along with six of the cars that were in the presidential uh, funeral train. Pre-sales on the 4141 are just off the charts. So if you're interested in one, uh, it'll come DC or DCC, and we're saying the grab irons will also be installed, so it's gonna be a great looking unit, and that's due in the, in the end of December. Okay, a couple more announcements here at Walters. Uh, Walters just announced the, uh, their Code 83 track. 
Uh, this is the track that's going to be the uh, same geometry as the Shinohara track. Right now we're doing the flex track and the turnouts, straight turnouts, and those have been announced and are due in April. So the big announcement about the Code 83 track coming from Walters. Another big item that we have is going to be the uh, Jeep 7s. Uh, this is a proto engine. I'm sorry, these are Jeep 9 Phase 1 proto engines, uh, fully detailed and fully decorated. We have a very popular one here today was the Bangor and Aroostook. Uh, we also have some of the Midwestern roads, Milwaukee Road. Southern Pacific comes with the ash can lights, which I mean, will operate. So, again, if you're an SP fan, another item we have here that's been very popular is our Jordan Spreader. Here's one that's fully got the wings out, everything. The wings are movable. The wing is movable, so we have those. Probably the most popular one is by far uh, Shark Bait here with the shark face on it. Everybody noticed the shark and the teeth, so very popular version of the uh, Jordan Spreader. And we also may had a first look today at our new end scale structure. This is our Merchants Row 3 and end scale uh, cornerstone kit. First look at it here at Amherst. Uh, one of the, our first Merchants Row and end scale in a little bit, and hopefully not the last of many new end scale structures to come. So thank you very much. Cadwell here from Digitracks with Ken Bianco from Train World. I just want to let everybody know that we're back up after the hurricane. We've been shipping for the last three weeks. Uh, we have the new Zephyr that's shipping now. Um, and we're trying to get as much product out right now as we can. We're just asking for everybody to be patient and we'll get it to you. Alright, today we've got the Zephyr Express. This is our new Zephyr system. Comes with a two and a half inch screen. Comes with a USB port in the back. We've got feedback on the screen for speed. You're able to go into your CV29. We've got read back of your CV29. You can change your normal direction of travel. You can change your speed steps. You can change your address uh, four. Uh, just with the press of the button. I don't have a program track right now, but if I wanted to program, I have the help bar saying there's nothing on the program track. That way it gives you a little bit of visual feedback letting you know there's nothing on that program track. If there was, you'd get a little cue up here to let you know it's programming because you're only going to get that programming for short little bursts. Uh, we can hit the back button here and I can go into the loco. If I hit the recall stack, I've got the recall of up to nine right here and I can cycle through all of my locomotives. We'll go with zero, bring me back to loco three and we're ready to go.
watching today and again this is train world tv at the amherst train show you could shop online for all your train products at trainworld.com thank you guys for watching